On May 29, 2013, a maquette of Benito Juarez, child to man, part of the 12 Traveler series of monuments, was unveiled at the Camino Real Hotel. There are many speakers in this meeting, including the sculptors, father and son, John and Ethan Hauser, Ray Mancera, chairperson of the Binational Benito Juarez Monument Committee, Max Prestridge, president of the 12 Travelers Board, historian Nick Hauser, Adair Margo of the Tom Lee Institute, and Abdulia Ruiz Campbell, who described the life of Benito Juarez in Zapotec. In Zapotec, uh, the market here is Dinka Chiluca de Nahuitni, the Uca de Naro, the Uca de Gulevera, Gelatao, Oaxaca, Uyeve Ne Nevisana, Uyeve, Oaxaca, Ne Visi Vivelabe, Uni Vidijaza, Ne Uni Vijastia. Neuca ve ti presidente Naro de México. Le visa na neve la no chupadilla, chupadilla da da nani. Pagadi estilo, la cadi cauni, pagadi y cauni, sianajilo. There was much applause in the unveiling of this maquette. One, two, three. 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 We also interviewed many individuals in this event. We're unveiling the, the maquette for Benito Juarez, who was at the Pass of the North in 1865 and 1866 for nine months. And at that time, in, El, in now what is Ciudad Juarez, which was then uh, El Paso del Norte, it, it, was, it was the capital of Mexico during the French invasion. It, it, it shows two figures. It shows Benito Juarez as he was at the time when he was here in, in El Paso del Norte and uh, concerned, of course, with the uh, French invasion and everything that was going on in Mexico. And it also shows Benito Juarez when he was a 12-year-old boy when he left San Pablo Guilatao in, in Oaxaca, a little Zapotec village, and walked 30 miles to the city of Ciudad Oaxaca to seek an education. So anyway, that, 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 was, the big, that was a big change in his life when he left his, uh, his, previous, his boyhood of being a sheep herder well, there's a sheep in the monument too, to, uh, to begin his education and uh, become a lawyer and eventually become Mexico's greatest president and only full-blooded Indian president. How's it going? Everything's going very well. We're working on this uh, Benito Juarez sculpture and uh, got a lot of, it's, uh, it, it shows Benito as a, as a young boy and then also as a, as, as a man. And it's, I think it uh, really does a good job in port portraying the importance of uh, education. What do you think about El Paso history? You're knee deep in it. Oh yeah, well, it's <laughs> I'm not as knee deep as, as, as some people, but it's, uh, it's a whole lot. It's not really my area. My area is more more sculpture, but... Uh, but you're making El Paso history come alive that way. Oh, well, that's, uh, that's right. But I, I, I sort of take orders from other people. Fair enough. So what do you think about this particular statue? Was it hard to do? Uh, well, it, it it was, it went through a number of different iterations. And uh, some of the earlier maquettes we, we, we have that just uh, aren't, aren't used, and this is, this is, the, this is the final with the, with the sheep, and it's, it's, it's John's composition. The event is to give a look at the maqueta that will be the statue in the future of Don Benito Juarez. It will be the sixth statue in all the United States. In the we have five. La segunda estatua fue un regalo de México hacia Estados Unidos y esa se encuentra en Washington, D.C. Cuando el Don Benito Juárez forma parte de los 12 viajeros que Tom Lee hace muchos años escribió sobre 12 personas que han influido de una manera u otra el desarrollo de esa región, Ciudad Juárez y El Paso. Y Benito Juárez indudablemente tuvo ese impacto, porque en Ciudad Juárez la presidencia estuvo en dos ocasiones ubicada en Ciudad Juárez. Tanto fue eh, la ubicación estratégica cuando huyó de Maximiliano, de que Ciudad Juárez nombró a su ciudad, Ciudad Juárez, en honor del gran benemérito, ¿cómo se dice? Perdón, en el benemérito de las Américas. Entonces, 
Ciudad Juárez eh, y Don Benito Juárez tienen una relación muy importante con la ciudad del Paso. Muy amable, gracias. We were fortunate enough to be invited by Mr. Ray Mancera. Um, we actually did uh, the backdrop and we're taking history pictures for El Camino Real uh, today and we're just, I'm with Grace, um, I'm with Image, which is a PR firm here in town and um, El Paso Designs, which is a collaboration of different designers um, from El Paso and our border town region. So just excited to be here today. For the El Paso History Journal, I'm Esteban Vasquez.